<laughs> Guys, this is it. I'm not ready for this trilogy to end, but here we are. Lightning returns. Really glad to have lightning back. I'm assuming we're only gonna play as her. Or maybe not. HP no out recovery in field. Oh, okay. Uh, fleeing battle penalty imposed, but let's just go. Let's go. I was advised to take normal, even though I'm pretty scared of the time limit. But I kind of hope we're not going to be alone all the time, just because it's going to feel a little bit lonely, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, um, it um, automatically auto saves. That's fine. But I don't always trust auto saves. So. I awoke from my dreamless sleep. I was just in time to witness the end of the world. stressed out not gonna lie but oh i'm so happy to see lightning again wow she really hands down has one of the best character designs it's gonna be so much fun because this is gonna be like 10-2 with like the dress fears but a little bit different. It's the chaos. Do you want to turn back? Too late now. We just saw snow. His hair has gone along. And he got. <laughs> Did he seem to have more bear? Are we collecting? Calculated everything. Snow, it's been a long time. You know what I am, and you know what I want. I can take a wild guess. You want to save. Excuse me, how long have we been asleep? Hold of her coming. Banisher of darkness, bringer of light, redeemer of souls. She come at the end of days to guide our souls to salvation. Damn you, Lightning! What's it gonna be? You gonna try to kill me? Huh? Yeah. Why do we have to fight? Can't we just be friends, like usual? It's over. You're a regular angel of death, Light. So now what? This is the bit where you save my soul? I could help you, if that's what you want. Damn it! 
What kind of answer is that? Uh-oh. Now that isn't going to work. <laughs> Lumina! Now that's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away. She looks like Sarah slash Lightning. <laughs> Is she like a reincarnate of Sarah or something? Ooh, pretty. I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. Oh. No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will. Damn. How did we get... The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel, presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God, sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved, my younger sister. How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. What does that mean, though? Do you have to, like, kill him? Oh. Okay, this... Is this a regular fight or a boss fight? It better be a regular All one. Right, Mr. Hope S time. Any ideas? What do I do next? Well, like, come on. Just call me Hope, okay? Right now, your number one priority is snow. Don't let him get away. Damn! Get mocked a tutorial. Uh, of course. And as you can see, I am playing with keyboard. Uh, so of course, I am gonna take the tutorial. Oh my god, I need to... Mm. Oh my gosh. Uh, I already don't like these buttons. Unleash abilities by pressing the button as I was able to set ability. Lightning will fire off attack after attack until out of ATB. Okay. Each ability will consume some amount of Lightning's ATB, her ATB gauge. Gauge. Illustrates the source of her power and is displayed in the lower left. Yes. Okay. It says 100 out of 100. Hold down and keep attacking. Okay, so it's reduced. In battle, lightning can switch between different combinations of equipment and garb, known as schemata. Up to three different schemata can be used in a battle, but at the moment lightning only has two schemata set. Switching between schemata takes hardly a moment. Okie dokie, so we switch it with... <laughs> oh my god, oh... I am definitely gonna be switching all these buttons, because they're too long, far apart. Each schema has its own ATB gauge to fuel its own particular abilities. Just now you switch from the red ATB of the savior to the yellow ATB gauge of Dark Muse. Using abilities in battle will consume ATB, but each schemata's ATB gauge will replenish with time. Okay. So, I just switched them up. Sta standby schemata will recover ATB, okay. 
here it is. You can see the ATB gauge for life in standby schema. The savior will remain ATB, will regain ATB more quickly than her currently active Gima Dark Muse. Keep an eye on both your ATB gauge and the enemy's condition in order to switch between schemata and battle efficiently. Use your schemata to claim victory in battle. Is it red because they want me to finish with red or? Is there a reason why they're red and yellow? Yellow was Sabbath War, right? Blue was Ravager. Yellow was Sentinel. Oh my gosh. And then we have the cam- oh my god, I need to- Because the mouse doesn't work as the camera. Well, crap. Yeah, I think I might have to find my controller again. Yeah, it's not working with the mouse. defense system. The door should open once the area is deemed safe. Deemed safe. I might. <laughs> Stop playing on the Xbox 360, but I think the PC version has better graphics Because there were some graphic options When I launched the program the game so Should be better. Oh my god. It is not easy moving <laughs> Guarding Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to learn everything. See through your enemy's movements and guard against incoming attacks to reduce the damage you take from them. Press the button just before an enemy connects with its attack and you will pull off a perfect guard. Ooh, so... Like in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Remake. Perfectly guarding greatly reduces the damage you take from attacks, allowing you to brush off without breaking a sweat. Okay. If you hold down M, you can take a defensive stance. Okay, so I should try to do a perfect guard. You guarded against the attack. By learning how to predict your enemy's moves, you should be able to improve the timing of your guard attempts. Watch how the noob is in front of you attacks using its battle axe. When you notice your enemy readying an attack, guard to reduce the damage to your HP and fight back effectively. If your HP reaches zero during battle, you can no longer fight. Use recovery items to restore HP by pressing escape. Oh, outside of battle, press dot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch up all of these. But I don't know if it's even gonna help. I think I need a controller. And currently my nails are a little bit too long for this. I feel like this is gonna take... Take a little bit of this. To get used to. Especially with a keyboard. Well, ain't that interesting. If you guys watched the secret ending of 13.2, uh, uh, you'll know that Kaya's plan worked for him. We got wrecked. So the world should be consumed by chaos now. Since there is no goddess, the goddess is dead. <laughs> I think that's also what the secret ending's title was. The goddess is dead. Oh my <laughs> Such a good outfit. <laughs> How many outfits are we gonna get? You did it. Now go and find snow. Yes, I will. Just let me have a look here. There's anything I can loot. 
I cannot wait to collect all of these outfits. They're, wait, they were, they were called the garbs. And schemata was when you had a schema. With uh, can you allocate the spells and such? No. Oh. We will see how it is. A glimmer of light appears at last. Is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope? I would like to bet on hope. If you believe you are the true savior, you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey. At general stores, you can purchase items such as potions, remedies, or phoenix down. Uh, restore your HP, cure status ailments, yes, or revive yourself when you're HP. Yeah, we know that. Keep in mind that there is a limit to the number of recovery items you can carry. Oh, there's a limit? Like this is, could be tough. Multiple ways that you can restore lightning's lost HP after battles, so which can be bought at general stores and other places. Yes. <laughs> this shady merchant. <laughs> yes, I did buy a potion. I am gonna buy all the potions I can hold. Let's see what there is to read. Ooh. Lightning is one of the humans made Lassie, who turned their backs on their fates and saved humanity. Though she was being used as a pawn by the gods, she fought with her allies to protect her homeland of Cocoon. When her life seemed her own again, she was swept away by the power of chaos and was trapped in Valhalla, the Unseen Realm. She was chosen as the one warrior who would fight to protect humanity's fate, and yet she was struck down in her greatest battle. Struck down by Caius? My gosh. That guy is OP. But that means that was not the end of him. Sarah, her younger sister and the last remaining member of her family, died beyond her reach. Chaos flooded the world, destruction and peril walked hand in hand, and Lightning laid down her sword to sleep in crystal for 500 years. But now the final days of the world have arrived, and some has roused the sleeping warrior. He is the almighty god, Bunivelze, and he ta tasks her with a new duty. Her final role in humanity's history will be as the savior of souls. So, she's been in crystal for 500 years? 500 years! Sarah was Lightning's younger sister, and Snow's fiance. Once she was embroiled in the games of the gods, but Lightning and Snow helped save her from that fate, as they fought with the help of their allies. When Lightning became trapped in another world, Sarah took up arms at her request. She set out on a journey throughout time to stop Kaios Ballad in his attempts to alter history and ultimately brought Kaios down, with a strength of heart equal to that of her sister. Just when it appeared that she had successfully brought humanity back to the path to peace, her journey ended. The future can be changed, but not without a great prize. Now it is Lightning's turn to sacrifice, and she will give anything to see her sister alive and smiling again. Are we gonna be able to bring back Sarah? I feel like that's what we're also here for, right? This mysterious young girl appears to be able to control the power of the chaos, and likes to get in Lightning's way at every turn. It seems that she has met Snow before, and that the two have more than just a passing acquaintance. But Lightning has spent the last five centuries in Crystal, and she has no way of knowing what could have happened between the two. Still, she cannot deny that the girl bears a striking similarity to Sarah, but Sarah is dead, 
and this Lumina seems to have her own goals. So why don't she look like Sarah? And why is she li like this with snow? Like, hope is time. <laughs> so good to see him. Hope is Lightning's partner in her journey as the savior, leading her through her final days with the world. They were allies once before, a thousand years ago. Hope had been a boy when they first met, living a sheltered life within the floating world of Cocoon. Until his peaceful days were shattered and his mother died before his eyes. He blamed Snow for his mother's death, but was forced to work with him to defy the shared fate. And through his journey, Hope learned to see beyond his grief and hatred. Hope had a very interesting character development. I, I really, really liked it. But why is he a boy in this photo? When he was a young man, Hope helped human society rebuild from the disaster that had befallen it. He led the Academy, a research institute formed to help humanity build its own future free from policy. He launched massive projects that would take centuries to complete, believing that science, not the gods, would save the people. Yet now he appears to have withdrawn from human society, hiding himself away to labor in God's service. Okay, so we're at the hands of gods again. This wasn't what you wanted, Hope, but okay. Sarah's fiance from a lifetime ago, Snow fought alongside Lightning when they were both lessee. When lightning disappeared, Snow went beyond the constraints of time to learn the truth. While on his journey, he embraced a dangerous fate, became a lessee once again, for the terrible power that is granted him. Yet, even gambling away his own future did not win him what he wanted, and in the end, he was not able to be with Sarah when she died. He's so depressed, oh my gosh! Can you imagine if lightning has been in a crystal form for 500 years? He must have been in shambles for 500 years. Centuries have passed since that day and the world has changed. Snow rules the glittering city of Yusnan as its patron and hides away within his palace. Have the long years of regret over his lost love changed him forever? I hope we can get back the snow that we know. The chaos. This mysterious energy came from another dimension and continues to eat away at the world. Most of the land has already been flooded by the sea of chaos and the world is on the brink of destruction. The chaos gives birth to monsters and is the mystical source of a certain kind of seed. It appears like a dark mist to human eyes but surprisingly, it cannot be seen by God. That is why it is sometimes called the unseen chaos. Many believe that when a human dies, his or her soul returns to the sea of chaos. Okay. We're getting some interesting facts here. So it cannot be seen by God, this chaos. It's like a veal to them. A different sh snow, I was gonna say show. Lightning manages to slay all the monsters in the ballroom and automatic defenses unseen the unseal the doors. Lightning hurries toward the upper floors of the palace in pursuit of snow. Snow is not the man that he used to be. He has changed. But then, so has lightning. She's the savior now. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna make me fight snow? But wow, look at this outfit! <laughs> and our broken sword! What happened with that? Oh my gosh. We are gonna collect so many garbs. Oh my gosh. They seem to have spe special attacks as well. I did buy a version that would give me like some extra stuff, like extra carbs, 
because why the hell not? More outfits, the more outfits, the more fun, I say. I just spotted Snow. Help me track him. Got it. You need to hurry. Okay, we can run, but it will consume our ATB, okay? I see. Yeah, it is not easy running and controlling the camera, let me tell you that. I thought I would be able to control the camera with the mouse, but I can't. Where does this take me? To a closed door. That is really sad to see. That lightning and snow are fighting. It's been 500 years, like, lightning, can't we just have a good reunion? What if, what if this is... Are we getting played again? You never know. Are we really gonna... Be it rusting again? I don't know. What's Snow up to anyway? Where's he going? I'm getting powerful chaos readings from inside the palace. <laughs> and that's exactly no, it cut off. Changing targets. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's those two. Okay, we can just switch between them. Easy enough. But man, it's like I'm using the entire keyboard. Where there are two of these? Mmm, what, what is that? You switch between targets. Use this skill wisely when there is one enemy from among many that you wish to target first when you want to center an attack around one particular enemy in this field. Aha! Like an all area effect. In addition to targeting enemies, yes, let's just go. But that's a cutie. Okay, so I just keep on switching like this. Okay, I can get used to this. Is that sword also broken? What the hell is he thinking? Running straight into the chaos? Is he going there to try to stop it, or is it to use it against us somehow? No. You'll have to ask him yourself. Now hurry. Hmm. I have a hard time thinking that Snow would do something to kill us. It feels like it's more lightning going after him than anything. And her being called the savior? For what purpose? How high is the obstruction? Light, you should be able to jump over it. We're probably gonna know for what purpose. But since we are doing someone else's you bidding... how the people here call Snow the patron? He's in charge of this city. And has been for a long time. The patron? I don't see it. Sure, he liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? Well, it wasn't his choice. He started out just trying to help everyone. He just wants to help us. That's exactly how he's been the entire game. And not seeing him so upbeat and optimistic. Kind of difficult. Although I'm not so sure he actually rules anything anymore. He doesn't do much these days except preside over the nightly revelry. Lord of the Feast Hall. Doesn't look like he's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why are you making him sound like he's possessed? 
may well maybe possessed by depression but what if he's just like a shell of the snow we know so are we like collecting are we collecting souls to plant them somewhere else like another world or do we like have another version like the real version of these people that we can just like put the soul into so they become the same old self <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna have a lot of theories but those two seem to be the most like simple ones that come to mind So we're doing God's feeding, Billy Belza. Was it with Hope? Hope, who was not too keen on relying on gods. Okay. And he looked young in that photo, but maybe they just had a younger Hope photo. God probably saw uh, Hope and was like, oh, this is a smart one. We have a smarter one here. We need him on our side. Strange. Snow came down this way, but it's a dead end. Oh. There has to be a way to get through. I'll look around. But I'm thinking, wasn't the new cocoon that... Uh, that Hope built, was that not also called Bunivelda? Wasn't it? Because I'm pretty sure it was. Easy does it, Lightning. When that door opened, the chaos readings in the whole area spiked. The source of the chaos is in the middle of the palace, right? That doesn't make sense. Right, can you hear me? The chaos is powerful in this area. I'm not sure what's going on. It's interfering with my secret source. I'm trying to maintain the connection. Oh my god, this is so interesting. Who was that? Uh -huh. It's this little kid. <laughs> What the? Who are you? And what are you doing here? If you're playing around in the middle of this chaos, I'm guessing you're not human. <laughs> you can see when you're inside this stuff? Hmm. Then you can't be one of God's regular lackeys, can you? <laughs> I see you. to this kid Lumina does Hope not see her or like hear her well we are in the chaos so by attacking your enemies weak points or striking them in the opening between attacks you will be able to stagger them the saltist that you see before you is vulnerable to magic damage attack okay we have thunder red now when you attack a monster's weakness its HP gauge responds with a stagger wave as you deliver effective attacks the wave grows and eventually it turns red showing that the foe is nearly staggered if you don't continue to deal effective attacks the stagger wave will start to oscillate slower and decrease in size the wave will not maintain quick okay okay there are a number of different ways you might attack to effectively strike an enemy's weakness. Ooh, pressing O to open Libra. Okay, so we just have a ungodly amount of Libra. Is that how it is to be the savior? <laughs> we don't even... Uh, but we see nothing. Looks cool. 
Uh, oh, Blixar worked as well. When you stagger your enemy, you, you will you not only deal great damage, but also create new opportunities and ways to attack. Some of the many abilities that Lightning will be able to use acquire have uh, special effects on staggered enemies, such as abilities that will be more powerful when they stagger a foe, abilities that can boost the stagger wave for longer than usual. Okay, so what are those abilities? Do we not have them? Oh, oh, I pressed something. Okay. <laughs> I already pressed it though. this kid I'm, we're probably not gonna know until like the middle of the game or late game but I will probably have a lot of theories going forward it's already very interesting like it feels like I just went into this game head first And I do remember I tried to play this game a lot of years ago, but I didn't understand anything and didn't understand the story and I was like, oh wait, this is the third game, so I'm not gonna understand anything. So I don't remember anything. If you use overclocked while foes are, foes are staggered, okay, okay. I think I'm getting it. If I'm not, I shouldn't have skipped all of those. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I don't Listen see a up. timer on more me. Info. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? I've been trying to do just that, but it's no good. Huh? None of my instruments will tell me anything. It's just too hard to see. Okay. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's there, all right. But when they actually look into it, they can't pick up anything at all. Sometimes it's so thick, my monitors go completely blank. Sorry, Light. So we can tell him what we see. Possible. Mm, I thought we got something interesting. It's okay, Hope. You've always been of help. Honestly, he has grown so much from the first game. So, so much. I think I might like, like his character development the most. He's enlightening. It's locked. Can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. <gasps> Did it hurt or something? Hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And Snow's inside. Or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope I not. I hope not, but... <laughs> not snow. <gasps> Light, you've been spotted. You've got to get out of there, now. After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. 
That was a kind of weird dialogue. I don't know why. It just felt like you're the savior. So she'll understand. If someone pain, can do it. She it's you. She's going to save his soul. But you listen to this nonsense. Ugh, God turns her into the savior, and it all goes straight to her head. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not gonna trust anyone, well, it's you, fake Sarah. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like this is gonna be confusing. I need to sharpen my mind. Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. It happened long ago, in a past that I cannot change. I was fighting a war that never ended. I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. I sent her to her death. I knew what I did could not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back. I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity until... One day, the light touched me. I knew what it was. It was God himself speaking to me. was his voice, and I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant, and if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. Sarah? He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah, and of I'd course. have her back at last. Just gonna do anything. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next. I became the savior. But can the god be trusted? It feels like... Sarah is like a bait. I could be too skeptical. <laughs> that is Kid Hope. And where are we? The Ark. Noah's Ark? <laughs> Hope's Ark! <laughs> wow, the music! So beautiful! Wouldn't expect anything less from a Final Fantasy game. Light, there's something I want to tell you. Something I think you have to hear. It'll take some explaining, so when you have the time, come and talk to me. What is this? Devon's daughter. Huh? A weapon? Ooh. Magic 170. And 70 in strength. Oh, more boxes. <gasps> Mist Wizard. Ooh, looked like a carp. Okay, so those are abilities. I don't have guard on everything? Huh. Okay. <laughs> Costumizing schemata. Mm -hmm. Create new schema and then main schemata that lightning can access in battle. So we can pick three. Red, yellow and blue. So is it like commander, commando? <laughs> Sentinel and Ravager. Start by selecting the garb 
and then we have garb ability set to it. Next user should select a weapon. Strength affects how much physical damage can be dealt. Magic affects how much uh, magic damage can be dealt. Stagger capability affects how much the stagger wave is boosted. Wait. Do they mean that the yellow schemata is for is the one that's gonna do the most stagger? Because the build-up was usually Ravager. Uh, select a shield, increase HP, ATB replenishment, guarding ability, lessen the damage taken while guarding. Uh, I'm thinking ATB speed would be good, but also defender, that's an ability. You must select the abilities that will be set to the garb. Okay, and then I can just map out the buttons. You will definitely need to check the key key bindings. Because I do not like these buttons that are chosen now. There we go. I think we're done. And select that one. Okay, we have three schemas. Mm. Using M and set it as the def default. Okay. <laughs> EP abilities. Learn how to utilize EP abilities during battle. Examine the bookshelf and challenge the Zaltis again. Ooh! Oh my god! This mist wizard outfit looks so freaking beautiful! <gasps> Look at that! Oh my gosh! Uh. The camera isn't too great. <laughs> Well, the camera woman behind it isn't too great. <laughs> wow, what is that big flower? Is it Aries flower? Yeah, I miss Rebirth very much. But I'm not gonna talk about it anything in this. Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. It's too new. Hope as time. Once long ago, we fought side by side. Bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the Hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. Yeah, why? He was up here, in lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us, and the world. Bunevelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it, and he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. But we're collecting souls for You're this other world. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance, no guarantees. I know it isn't right using your sister, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? 
God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end. But for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It all happened such a long time ago. I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions in his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did, and maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With Hope Estime to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world and ushering them into a new one. The savior, servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you all right? I'm fine, just reminiscing. Five hundred years ago, chaos was unleashed, and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries. That's what it took to destroy all of creation. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes. But when that time comes, Benevelza will finally awaken, and he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes. As many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. That doesn't sound good. I don't want to lose anyone then. Oh my gosh. As long as you're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's happening in the world below. Oh. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. Yes. In 13 days, God will reawaken. It'll all be over then, and no power in the universe can stop it. But the problem is, the world may have even less time than that. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should, but the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. The pace of the destruction is accelerating. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. You have to delay the end for as long as possible. Now listen carefully, Light. What I'm going to tell you is very important. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Aradia. It's the power of God's light. It gives you your powers. And much more. If you offer your life force, this Aradia, you can give energy to the world and delay the final destruction for a while. So collect the delay the destruction, but not avoid it forever. When God wakes after the 13th day, the world is screwed whatever I do. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Because if you did that, and the world ends before the 13th day, God will deem that you have failed. Then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on his promise if he believes that you failed to deliver on yours? Probably not. Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep the world alive for 13 days, I don't save Sarah. And not just Sarah either. The entire human race might be lost. So do you see, Light? Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. And the way you do that is by saving people's souls. So that's what I've got to do. Save souls so that I can save Sarah. Yes, exactly. Remember how much snow has changed? Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip of despair, their hearts shackled by regret and longing. If you reach out and help them with their troubles, you can break those shackles. Then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be reborn in the new world. And in return, your savior life force will grow. So that's what he wants. 
Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes humanity with it. My mission. A lot to think about. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. We have cloud here. Girl, you look like a fine soldier to me. And we even have Zack's Buster Sword. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have so much to look forward to. <laughs> this looks a little bit off on lightning though, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> but wow. This feels so nostalgic. Oh, oh, she looks like a prince. Oh, I love this. Ooh, speaking about prince. <laughs> Nice. A fan. Oh my gosh, she looks absolutely incredible in these. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> A flower one. Tomb Raider. <laughs> you haven't had a shower in your life, it seems like. <laughs> cool. Looking like a goddess and like a cosmic god. Queen of the Moogles? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Why did it fit her so well? Oh! Isn't this the outfit she has? Well, she didn't have um, the feathery tail. Oh, we have this one! There it is! There it is! Knight of Etro. Oh my gosh. Give me! I'm gonna- I'm gonna get them all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gun blades. I love them. The best invention. <laughs> oh, wow. Will I get more as we progress or is this like, this is it? Still, it was a lot, so... Almighty Bunivelze. Oh my god, we have a lot to read. Lightning has struck the ground once more, but this time she is the savior. Almighty God's servant, the legendary figure whose appearance heralds the end of the world. When she stepped into the grand ballroom that lies at the heart of Yusnan and confronted Snow, ruler of the city, he made it clear that the reunion was not welcomed. The pair crossed swords and Snow called her an angel of death. They both share the same grief over Sarah's death, so what did Lightning hope to achieve by provoking Snow in this way? A reunion? I mean, they both want the same thing. Sarah alive. I mean, if Lightning would have said that, I think it, Snow would be like, yes, kill me right now. Before their conflict could escalate, a chaos infusion bloomed in the play palace and snow retreated. When lightning tried to follow, the path was blocked by a strange young girl called Lumina. By the time lightning resumed her chase, it was too late, and she had no choice but to return to the Ark. I am gonna have so many theories. I feel I feel already right now. I have so many theories like just boiling up. But I don't have enough information. We're just gonna continue. Almighty Bunivelza, god of light, stands above other gods and holds the world in his palm. After creating Pulse, the wild, Lindsay the wise, and Etro, the goddess of death and chaos. 
Bonivelza retreated from man's sight and slipped into a long slumber. It was Bonivelza who called to Lightning, forcing her to awaken from her long crystal sleep to become the savior. And he made her a promise if she completed this great task for him. He would use his power to bring her sister Sarah back to her. I mean, maybe we could trust Bonivelza. But I didn't like the fact that Hope said something like, uh, and and um, Lightning said something about them not having human emotions. Like that—that's what makes us human, though. Lightning's younger sister Sarah set out on a journey to avert the terrible future that awaited humanity, but that journey ended in disaster, bringing about the re ruination of both time and space. The goddess Etro, who maintained the equilibrium between the world of the living and the world of the dead, was gone, and with her went the barrier which held the power of the chaos at bay, allowing it to flood into the human world. Bringing out the ruination of both time and space. What does that mean? Is time just non-existent. This destruction slowly spread across the land over the in intervening centuries. There are now only four small islands left amidst the darkness where people still cling to life. Lightning failed to protect the goddess she was sworn to, resulting in the destruction of her world. She sent Sarah out on her journey, ultimately leading to her death. There is so much to regret and atone for, and so little time. But if time and space Vanished? Why, why are we thinking about time now? Or is it just like a concept? Almighty Bonivelda has decided to bring this world to an end and make a new one. There is no way to save Nova Chrysalia from the chaos in which it is sinking. The destruction began when a single man caused the gate to Valhalla, the Unseen Realm, to be thrown open. In doing so, he altered God to the great potential that lay in humans, and so God has decided to give humanity one last chance. He altered God to this great potential that lay in humans, okay. So, Bonivelza will use the souls of the saved to populate his new world. For that purpose, he has selected a savior to gather the souls and prepare them for the new world. Bringing comfort and salvation to people is something that the heartless gods could never do themselves. So, you saying that Bunivelza has a heart? But why did he remove part of our feelings then? I'm, I'm gonna need to rewatch that. The world has nearly reached its end, the last few days now slipping away from humanity, but the savior can give her own energy, her erodia, to buy more time for the world. This to me is telling me that if we collect much more, we might have more time. 13 days is the limit to how far this time can be extended. Oh, okay, okay, so days can be extended. On the 13th day after lightning awakens in this world, destruction will come and it will be inescapable. That is when, it is said, God will create his new world. The savior has the power to save humanity's souls to be reborn in the new world. But the question is whether she has the time to wield it. Erodia is intimately tied to the so savior's holy task. To gather more, lightning must free the hearts of the people from the darkness that has consumed them. Sounds like a lot of quests to me. Well, it's always nice to have much time. Hmm. We can extend. So we have several days? Almighty Bunivelza created three gods for his world. Etro, Pulse and Lindsay. Etro was a goddess without any power of her own. In contrast, both Pulse and Lindsay were granted near limitless power, and they built the Falsi, servants that possess supernatural powers. 
Mm-hmm. Granted near limitless, okay. The false seed that served the god pulls work to terraform the expansive lands of the planet and the world came to be known as Grandpa's. The Falsi, which served the god Lindsay, built a world in the sky and kept humans blissfully unaware within a cage they called Cocoon. The gods did not reveal themselves, but the Falsi were present in every part of humanity's lives. The people depended on them for survival and worshipped them as gods. But there are almost no Falsi left in the surviving remnants of the world. So almost no Falsi. So we're gonna meet up with Falsi. That's what you're telling me? Well, we just have to see about that. Do we have any information on Caius? What, what's our guy doing? No, it's not only because he's handsome and I want to see him, but you know. How much I'm gonna be using this regular one just because we already ran around with this in the first game and we're probably gonna have so many garbs to choose from it's gonna be difficult to choose one. Oh my gosh this is so beautiful but I'm gonna keep these three or should I switch one now nah, let's just keep this free. And I'm gonna run around like what this. What can I get you? Replenish items? What you got? Spend AP. I have 5 AP. Huh? Hulk to Hulk. The destruction began 500 years ago. But you know that. It was when the chaos first flooded into our world. Most of the world was lost immediately under the ocean of chaos. Only one small region survived. The survivors call their island of refuge Nova Chrysalia. The chaos brought destruction and a kind of immortality too. Suddenly everyone stopped growing. It was like we'd lost our time. But if that was a gift, it was a poisoned one. We could not age and neither could new life be born. Oh. There were no more children. But although we were ageless, we were not immune to death. Sickness, accidents, and violence could still kill us. Life remained as fragile as it had always been. And so humanity began a new chapter of its history. The population slowly shrinking, the survivors falling into an ennui born of lives that last too long. Eventually, new creeds took hold and new legends created. One of these told of the Savior, a servant of God. She would descend to Nova Chrysalia at the end of the world. Humanity's last chance for salvation. So that's why you're a kid? The Ark is the remains of the artificial cocoon. A planet built of steel, back when humanity still dared to dream of greatness. Bunavelza has repurposed the world we built. This is where the souls of the saved are kept, ready to be reborn in the new world. But the people down on the surface have forgotten what this stands for and simply call it a moon. <laughs> Who am I exactly? It's a question I don't have the answer to. I don't know how I know the things I'm telling you. I don't know who gave me the knowledge. It's not that I have forgotten my past. Some memories are still there, and I can summon them when I want. It's just that I can't recall the emotions they should evoke, as if they're images of someone else's life. I know that I once lived in a great city on the surface of the planet. I know that Snow and I joined forces to try and battle the menace of the chaos. And then, suddenly, I was here. I tried to find out what happened. According to records that still survived, the man called Hope Estime disappeared 169 years ago. But the records and my memory end there. What happened after that? I can only assume I was in the hands of God. I was part of his plan. So he took me and prepared me for the role that I had to play. Interesting. That just gives me a lot more questions. <laughs> oh, it's like he gave me no answers, really. <laughs> I was thinking, how does he know everything? The people call this land, which falls further under the sway of the chaos each day, Nova Chrysalia. In this world, there is no aging. 
though. The people can and can and go do die from accidents and illness. By losing the natural progression to death, they have also lost the natural propagation of life and no new children have been born in all the centuries since the chaos first broke into the world for the past 500 years. The world's population has dwindled and society grown stagnant. Oh, that is pretty dark. So the popu population is just shrinking because people can still die and get sick. With no changes to mark the march of years, the decades slip past as fleeting as the seasons once did. Children stay forever innocent and simple in their hearts. Some believe that God in his mercy must have taken from humanity some part of their hearts that would allow them to truly know the horrible fate they have been trapped in. Also that they might live on forever in peace, instead of fa falling prey to the despair that is their only inheritance in this world. So God took that peace from the human emotion, from their hearts, so they don't feel the despair, making them a little bit like apath apathic, in, in a sense. Scripture tells believers that a savior will appear at the end of the world to do God's bidding and save the souls of the people. When the day of salvation comes, all life will end. The souls of those chosen by Bonivaldo will be saved and reborn in a new world. The one who is tasked with delivering them there is known as the savior, which is, as we know, lightning. I wonder if Lumina is doing the same thing, but in the other way, like not saving them. In this sense, the Savior also heralds the coming of the end. For the heretics who do not believe in the teachings of the Order, or the promise of a new world, she is thought to be little more than a harbinger of destruction. Of course it's gonna be divided. Of course. And we don't know if we're getting messed with or not. I'm, I'm gonna be neutral right now. The Ark is a man-made satellite created to be a place of refuge for humanity in the face of the world's destruction. Hope oversaw its construction, completing it approximately 500 years ago. It was launched with, the mo with most of the world's people inside, and that is how humanity survived the initial catastrophe. Yet eventually, the chaos reached as far as the Ark, and it was abandoned by the people it had saved. Uh huh. Oh. So we are on that arc now. Within the arc exists a separate dimension where time does not move. This is the Savior's base of operation. Okay, so here time does not move. God intends for the Savior to gather the souls of the people of Nova Chrysalia within the arc when the world ends to carry them onward to the new world he will create. When the Ark was completed, Hope gave it the name Bunivelze. Yeah, you see, it was! It seemed only a coincidence at the time, but perhaps God's plans were already in motion, sweeping the young leader of mankind along in their wake. Mm-hmm, so Bunivelze already had his eyes on Hope, it seems like. Maybe he's the one who gave him the idea, subconsciously. The history of Nova Chrysalia began 500 years ago, when the walls between this world and the next broke, allowing chaos to flood the dimension in which humanity lives. The influx of chaos slowly covered the land, leaving only small tracts still inhabitable by man. The people stood strong in the face of this disaster thanks to the strength of their leader, Hope as time. But when he disappeared without, without warning 169 years ago, the bonds that had held society together began to dissolve. This is gonna turn very interesting. Just jumping into the game right now, I just feel like a lot is gonna happen. 
Of the many years of living with the chaos, a church that preached of God's salvation appeared and quickly grew to power, capturing faltering hearts. This was the order of salvation. It brought about great changes in the lives of the people and returned a sense of stability to society. The people of this dying world largely choose the path of faith, bowing to God in hope of salvation. Of course. I mean, if you have nothing else to hope for, you're... It's usually gonna fall to a religious kind of insight. I think that even if, if you're an atheist, when you're in despair, you might turn to searching for answer from, from a god. Like, if someone is dying, then you feel like you have no one to, to ask but god. I will try to switch my, my bindings here. Okay, that's it for this episode. Uh, I'm gonna continue playing. I'm gonna keep the two, three hours per day. No, not per day. Uh, but I'm gonna try to to play as much as I can, especially after work. So we we'll see when I'm I'm finished. But probably I'll be finished much sooner than than the actual gameplay is uploaded. So, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.